Hi, I'm Tatiana and welcome to 10 Minute Tasks. In today's video, I'm going to show you my cleaning kit. Okay, so I use a rolling cooler and this is by Igloo and I like it because I can lock it. I can put things on top. I can store things on the top like these gloves. I can also put masks in here and I love that I can just zip it up like that. I also have all of my cleaning products inside and I like that it's lined with plastic so I can easily clean it out. I have three bottles of all-purpose cleaner that I make with water, hydrogen peroxide, and a little bit of dish soap. I also like this Sprayway glass cleaner. I think it cleans glass the best. Okay, and then I also have this orange glow, which is furniture polish. You can use olive oil. It works just the same, but I love the smell of this. So I have this. You can also add orange oil to olive oil and it'll probably have the same effect. I have this stainless steel cleaner. I think it does a great job at cleaning stainless steel and it doesn't leave it oily. I have used olive oil in the past and it does leave a nice shine, but I feel like it's too oily, greasy, and this doesn't do that. I use this Dr. Bronner soap. So my all-purpose cleaner, I can use dish soap or Dr. Bronner soap. Um, they both do a great job. I clean the toilets, the sinks, the showers with this. And I bought this bottle last year and I still have halfway to go. So it's a very cost effective way to clean your house. I think I spent like $12 on this and it's still going. So Dr. Bronner's thumbs up. Okay, and then I have a, a container that I am reusing to hold my razor blade, my drywall screen, and my quad zero steel wool pads. These are things that I don't want to rust. It can get wet in here, so I keep it in here so it keeps it dry. I have a cup so I can put the wet things in it, like if I'm using a sponge and I want to reuse it again, I will put it into here versus into the caddy so it keeps it dry and clean. And then I have the drywall screen that I'm using here. And then I have the toothbrush and I have another scrubby. Um, so anything that I know that gets wet, I'll put it into here. I have Murphy oil soap. Someone talked about Murphy oil soap the other day and I kind of missed it. I used to use it a lot, but it can be great for wood floors. I have vinyl floors, so I don't use it. I just use the hydrogen peroxide and the dish soap and water for my floors. But if you have wood floors, I think this does a fantastic job. It also cleans all kinds of other things. So I'm a big fan of Murphy oil and I'm, happy to bring it back into my kit. Okay, let's see. Also, I have uh, Bon Ami. I don't use it that much. Baking soda and Bon Ami tend to leave this powdery film that I have to clean afterwards, so I don't use it that much, but I, if I feel like it needs a little more abrasiveness in the cleaning, then I'll use it. And so I have this one can and it's lasted me a year. So as you can tell, I don't use it that much, but I do have it in my kit just in case. Okay, what else do I have in here? Oh yes, and I have my uh, duster. I like the feather duster. Some people don't, but I love it because it's reusable, it stays clean. You just shake it off on the ground. Every once in a while, I'll have to replace it, but this one duster has lasted me six months. So, and then this part is all wooden, so it's biodegradable, and this part is leather, um, which is also biodegradable, and then the feathers are biodegradable. So this is a pretty sustainable product, in my opinion. Those Swiffers, you have to change them every single time, and they all go to the trash. It's all plastic, it's, yeah. So I try and keep things as sustainable as possible, 
like with some exceptions like cleaning my glass i love this cleaner so i'm going to stick with this and then also the stainless steel cleaner not eco-friendly but some things i kind of am flexible on and i also love this dream vacuum it stays here on the wall and then it has all of the attachments for cleaning the couch and the stairs when I need to remove stains on the laundry, I like having this big five gallon bucket. These are typically the products that I use for laundry. So I love baking soda and I have my laundry sheets right here, which is laundry detergent. Borax, I'm experimenting with it now. It seems to be working. Vinegar, bleach, and OxyClean and hydrogen peroxide. And then I have right here, these are dryer balls. Um, they're actually in the dryer. I'll show you what they look like. And they just help the laundry dry faster and they get rid of some of the static. For mopping the floor, I love using this 10 quart bucket right here. It's pretty simple, it has a handle and a spout. And then I also love using this to mop the floors so i just put a cloth on the end here and that's how i mop the floors you can check out my other video on how to do that and to store my rags i have this duffel bag right here that i can easily put over my shoulder and i put all sorts of rags inside so basically a rag is not something you have to buy at the store you can use any kind of cloth that you aren't using anymore i did cloth diapering with my baby and he doesn't do that anymore so i'm using the cloths and uh, so i have different sizes here and then i'm also using an old dish towel that i don't want to use anymore in the kitchen so this is a rag now and this is uh, also a dishcloth and then I have some smaller cloths right here that I'm not using in the bathrooms anymore. So I am using them as rags. And it really depends on the type of material. This one is lint free and so it works really well on the mirror. And then like this one has a little bit of lint so I would use it more for like dusting but not so much on the mirror. And then these, this one is also really good for the mirror, but it is pretty long, so I like putting it on the mop because it can wrap all the way around when it's wet and it doesn't get loose. That's it, that's my cleaning kit. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel. I have all sorts of cleaning videos and I come out with videos every single week. You can tap the notification bell too to be notified of the very next video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.